Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve another very very interesting and challenging question from radical equations. So let's get started by writing our equation cube root of. Now I will use a plus b whole square formula here and a minus b whole square formula here. So we can write x square plus 2 over x whole square will be 4 over x square plus 2 times x times 2 over x which will give us 4 plus 2 square is 4 minus cube root of x square plus 2 over x whole square 4 over x square minus 2 times x times 2 over x x x will be over minus 2 times 2 negative 4 and minus 2 square is minus 4 this will be equal to 2 square which is 4 or i can write cube root of x square plus 4 over x square plus 8 minus I will write plus and then we can multiply with minus 1 times cube root of x square plus 4 over x square minus 8 equal to 4. Now I know that cube root of negative 1 this can be written as cube root of negative 1 whole cube. Now cube root and cube we can cancel. So this value will come out negative 1. So instead of minus 1, we can write cube root of negative 1. Let's apply this value here. So our equation will be writing cube root of x square plus 4 over x square plus 8 plus cube root of negative 1 times cube root of x square plus 4 over x square minus 8 equal to 4. Now we will use radicals property and we will club these two radicals. We will get cube root of x square plus 4 over x square plus 8 plus cube root of multiply the second radicand by negative 1 we will get 8 minus x square minus 4 over x square equal to 4 now we will use substitutions let's say first radicand equal to u cube and second radicand we can consider v cube. So the very first equation which we will get from here cube root of u cube plus cube root of v cube equal to 4 or we can write u plus v equal to 4. Let's say this is equation 1. Now I will calculate u cube plus v cube value. So we can write u cube as x square plus 4 over x square plus 8 and v cube will be writing 8 minus x square minus 4 over x square. So plus x square minus x square will be over 4 over x square minus 4 over x square will be over 8 plus 8 16. Let's say this is our equation number 2. Now we have to solve these two equations. Let me write here u plus v equal to 4 and u cube plus v cube equal to 16. Now I will write one algebraic formula for u plus v whole cube. This will be equal to u cube plus v cube plus 3 uv times u plus v. 
now we have u plus v 4 u cube plus v cube 16 so i can write 4 cube equal to 16 plus 3 times uv times u plus v which is 4 so 64 equal to 16 plus 12 uv now subtract 16 from both sides we will get 64 minus 16 equal to 12 uv or i can write 48 equal to 12 uv divide both sides by 12 we will get uv 4 and this equation we can consider equation number 3 now i will consider equation 1 this was our equation 1 and equation 3 so let me write here u plus v equal to 4 and equation 3 uv equal to 4 so from this equation i can calculate v 4 minus u which we will apply here u times 4 minus u equal to 4 or i can write 4u minus u square equal to 4 take all the terms to rhs so i can write u square minus 4u plus 4 equal to 0 this is one perfect square this is u minus 2 whole square equal to 0 so from here i can write u will be equal to 2 with multiplicity 2 so u equal to 2 finally now our substitution was u cube so i will write here u equal to 2 u equal to 2 now i will calculate u cube value u cube will be equal to 2 cube this will be equal to 8 now u cube was x square plus 4 over x square plus 8 equal to 8 now we will subtract 8 from both the sides we will get x square plus 4 over x square equal to 0 let's take lcm i will write x power 4 plus 4 equal to 0 now i will use algebraic manipulation step i will write x power 4 as it is then i will add 4x square and subtract 4x square so let us do that minus 4x square equal to 0 now from first three terms i can write this is x square plus 2 whole square and minus 4x square we can write 2x whole square equal to 0 now we can use difference of two squares formula let me write equation once x square plus 2 whole square minus 2x whole square equal to 0 so i will be writing x square plus 2 plus 2x in one bracket in other bracket x square plus 2 minus 2x equal to 0 from product 0 rule we can write either x square plus 2x plus 2 will be 0 or x square minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0 now we have two quadratic equations let's solve one by one i will use quadratic formula so let me write x equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4 times ac 
over 2 times a. As per our first equation, I can write the value of a1, the value of b2, and c is also 2. Let's apply all the values. I will get minus 2 plus minus the square root of 2 square is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 2 over 2 times 1 is 2. Or I can write minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 8 over 2. Or we can write minus 2 plus minus a square root of negative 4 over 2. Let me write this x here. Minus 2 plus minus a square root of negative 4. I will write a square root of negative 1. A square root of 4 over 2. Now we know that a square root of negative 1. This is complex number i. So x will become minus 2 plus minus i times square root 4 is 2 over 2. Or we will get minus 1 plus minus i. Both solutions are complex. Now we have to solve our second quadratic equation. So equation was x square minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. x equal to minus b. So minus of minus 2 plus 2 plus minus a square root of minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 2 over 2 times 1 is 2. So here we will be getting 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 8. So I will write minus 4 again over 2. Or we can write 2 plus minus i times 2. The same way as our first quadratic equation we were solving. Over 2. So from here we will be getting 1 plus minus i. So we have four complex solutions. If I will write here x will be equal to plus minus 1 plus minus i. There are four complex solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.